How to get your body to burn stored fat daily. The math is simple. When we eat more than we burn, the body converts the excess calories into fat and stores it as flab. And there it stays, unless we consume less calories than the body needs, creating a deficit that triggers the liver to reach into those fat stores and reconvert them back into glycogen to fuel the body's metabolic processes. Going on a calorie-restrictive diet is the obvious answer to weight loss goals. But while most people can easily go for a few days eating smaller amounts of food than they have been accustomed to, it's not a sustainable long-term solution. Eventually, the self-imposed deprivation will cause a relapse and will probably lead to binging sessions. And when it does, all the weight that has been lost, plus more, will eventually come back. But there is a way to get rid of excess fat and keep it off without starving yourself. Here's how to get your body to burn stored fat daily through intermittent fasting. Before we go through the lists, please be sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified of our future uploads. 1. The American Diabetes Association explains that the body is always in one of these two states, the fasted state and the feasted state. The main difference lies in the source of energy being used to fuel the metabolism. The body is in the feasted state when you've eaten and insulin is released into the bloodstream so that food becomes the fuel source for your metabolic system. The fasted state takes over when the insulin levels continue to fall, signaling the body to switch over to using fat stores for energy because all the calories consumed have already been burned. Two. The key is to get your body from fat storing mode to fat burning mode for specific windows throughout the day. Doing this is mind-blowingly simple. You simply need to space your food intake far enough apart to lower insulin levels in the blood. The biggest obstacle to affecting this switch is getting over the idea that you need to be eating every few hours. 3. Intermittent Fasting IF refers to scheduling your feasting and fasting modes to maximize the body's fat-burning mechanism. It means eating only during a specific window of the day, and choosing not to eat food for a larger period. There are various protocols for IF, but the most popular are 16, 8, and 24 hours protocol. 4. In the 16, 8 protocol, you fast for 16 consecutive hours and eat during the remaining 8-hour period. For example, you choose to schedule your meals from noon to 8 p.m., skipping breakfast. During the fasted 16-hour window, you can only consume water and zero-calorie drinks like plain tea or black coffee. You should eat normally during the feeding window. Don't use it as an excuse to eat more calories than usual. You're not supposed to compensate calories missed during the fasted window. This protocol can be done daily, with a day or two of rest within the week. 5. If you feel that you can go for longer periods of time, you can try doing IF for 24 hours. Most people find it easier to start their fast after a late lunch, say 2 p.m., skip dinner and breakfast, and only eat again at 2 p.m. If you do this protocol, it's recommended to do this on alternating days. Remember to give yourself enough time to figure out how to get your body to burn stored fat daily through IF. For the first couple of weeks, start with just a 12-hour fasting period, gradually working your way up to 16 or 24 hours. The first week is generally the hardest. You'll soon learn, however, that your hunger pangs are just due to a habit rather than real hunger, and that they can be comfortably managed with adequate fluid intake.